Are you ready, my friends, for some more Sukuden 3? Because it's time to make the biggest and greatest decision that you'll ever have to make, at least when you're playing this game. Um, if you're worried about this decision, don't worry about it on the screen. It doesn't matter. Just pick whoever you want. It'll start the chapter 4. So you can really get into this because, man, if you were wondering how this was all going to come together, finally... Well, we're about to find out. Now that our three heroes are all in one place, the Flame Champion Hideaway. What's with this Sana bitch? She said she was the wife of the Flame Champion, which would make sense if they were married a long time ago. She's old. He's not. He's, you know, he's got the true fire rune. It all makes sense. Anyway, what is this? Ghetto seems to either recognize it or not give a shit. But it definitely looks like somebody lived here, or lives here, maybe, probably, possibly, most likely, oh shit, it's his staff and his clothing, you know he's here, hell yeah, the flame champion Fagichi, my beloved, is deceased, wait, what, he's deceased, what? But we need his power, man! What are we gonna do without him? But how can a rune bearer die? The bear is supposed to be immortal. That is true, but he chose to grow old with me rather than live eternally. Okay. So he gave up the rune? So who has the rune then? Aren't aren't you aren't true runes supposed to be have a bearer? They can't just be dormant can they like just sitting there waiting for me to pick it up it's not like a materia from suk or from final fantasy 7 it's getting ruined man my dear sauna how do you like being known as the champion's lover i don't like it the champion's lover i never intended to live in somebody else's shadow let alone bear such a grandiose title <laughs> who knew I don't like being labeled either, but somehow I got the name and it stuck. I never thought I'd be working for justice or the people. I was born and raised here in the grasslands, and I just couldn't bear to see my land ransacked. That's how it all began. People were so excited to finally have hope. They projected it onto me, and here I am now. But I'd give it all up for yo, yo G-Spot girl. Anyway, is it difficult to always sustain that heroic image for the sake of your people? It is hard to have such devoted people imposing their ancient dreams and ideals on me. I want the decision to act as I wish to live or to die, but it doesn't do me any good to complain. I must think positively. That sounds more like the man I know. You've been behaving more like a champion lately. But it's just for show, isn't it? I'll admit, I'm relieved. Okay. I'll only fight for what I hold dear. Holy Harmonia has agreed to a 50-year ceasefire. This should give us enough time. Huh. <laughs> okay. Us? That might not be enough. Yes. But at least, we won't see our loved ones destroyed before our own eyes. The name Champion means nothing to me. My time with you, that is the most precious thing. Ah, Funky G. Aww. Aww. Mm. He did it all for the vagine. He did. He did it all for the vagine. Come on, the vagine. Come on, so you can take that gross grasslands and shove them up your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm ruining a moment here, but it's true. He said, "F it, man. Did it for the woman." And the woman's still alive, and he is not. That he used an ancient secret method of Shinnar to seal the true rune he bore in his body and chose to perish along with me. But you're not dead yet. He died first. I don't doubt it. Sounds like something he'd do, because Ghetto knows all about his old friend. But Ghetto has chose to live an immortal life. Then, the flame champion? The, 
Hero who protected the grasslands is no longer... Nope. 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 All of us with our eyes closed. Except for Hujo. Sean, the shadows of the dead don't protect your loved ones. You do. You'll see. But the new champion must unite the grassland clans with Zexan. They're still in constant conflict and under the threat of the Harmonian army. Bucky G accomplished it not with his title as a hero, but with his own abilities. Isn't this so? I guess so. T Ghetto isn't saying a damn word right now. Ghetto, you still haven't forgiven Bucky G, have you? You never change. You were always an idealist, and it encouraged Bucky G to no end. But the fact that you didn't seem to understand him hurt him. Still cold as ever, eh, Ghetto? Not gonna say a damn word. Okay, then. Buggy G left me with a message, which is why I'm here today. He was able to predict the future to some extent because he bore the true rune. The true fire rune he sealed is protected by the ancient secret method of Shindar. If you wish, I can open the door for you. But this will require you to take the power and the burden of the flame champion upon yourself. Exactly. Take over the title of the flame champion? Then, who's it gonna be? Are you saying that one of us three will be his successor? Bakiji often said that one's destiny is not predetermined, but is changeable. He said even destiny makes room for a person who is strong-willed. Bakiji told me that the three of you would appear here to take over the true fire rune, but he didn't specify who. He believed that a person's will, rather than their destiny, could open a door into the future. The decision of who will assume the title of Flame Champion will not be made by destiny, but by the will of a person. The will of a person controlling this video game right now will choose who will be the next Flame Champion. Ironically, that would be Defunk AG. So, this is the moment I was talking about. We get to choose who we want to be the Flame Champion. Aw, snap. So we can make it Hugo. We can make it Chris, or we can make it Ghetto, and I believe Chris will get her uh, her knight uniform back at some point, by the way, but that's funny why they show that that uh, version of her. But anyways, um, so, who makes the most sense? Well, storyline-wise, I gotta say I'm surprised the guide I'm following doesn't just flat out say you should choose Hugo, because Hugo makes the most sense. He's from the grasslands, he wants to protect his people, he doesn't have a true rune or any rune at all really he doesn't like ghetto makes no sense to me because he has the true lightning rune he was friends with funky g he almost makes zero sense to me but he definitely makes for an interesting choice in terms of what happens or i shouldn't say what happens because a lot of the game is the same no matter who you choose it's just certain scenes are different and different dialogue options and stuff but for the most part the game the rest of the game will be the same no matter who you pick battles will be winnable no matter what and you will still have access to all the true runes even if Ghetto has the true fire rune. The other runes will actually shuffle around based on who you pick. Which is kind of weird that they did that. And that's why it makes the most sense to pick Hugo. Because based on the other true rune, which we're not even talking about yet, which is the true water rune. We mentioned it in the last episode or the episode before that being over in Almakanon. We will get the end of that water rune story. We haven't gotten to it yet, but we will get there. The point is, it makes the most sense to make Hugo your flame champion. I'm going to go with what makes the most sense. Plus, I like making Hugo the flame champion. It's my preferable choice story-wise and just aesthetics-wise. or like I don't know, just all of it, really. Chris makes the second most sense, obviously. They did explain how she's a hero. Ghetto just makes no sense to me. That's why I hardly ever pick Ghetto. Me and my cousin have tried all three. I don't know if I've ever finished a playthrough with all three. I've definitely finished one with Hugo, and I got most of the way done with Chris before. I don't think I've ever beat the game as Ghetto the being the Flame Champion, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, everything's beatable. Let's just pick Hugo already. I already said I'm going to pick him. Let's just do it. Stop dilly-dallying and beating around the bush. Pick your goddamn champion. It's going to be Hugo, baby. And look, he stands in the middle. He makes the most sense, doesn't he? The decision has been made by me. Hugo? 
Show yourself as the true champion of the grasslands. The new flame champion. It'd be cool if they actually assumed his role and took his weapon and everything. But no, Hugo's going to stick with his... Everybody sticks with the, the fighting style and stuff they already have. During my first battle, I lost my best friend. Sergeant said it's all part of war, but I'd do anything to have enough power to stop that kind of thing from ever happening again. Funky G, Mr. Flame Champion. We need the power you possessed. So can you please lend me? Can you please let me have the power? You can't just ask for it, son. You gotta take it. You gotta want it. You gotta take it. You gotta grasp it with your hands and rip it from... I don't know, where is it exactly? Is it is in the staff? No, she said she was gonna open some door. What the hell do we have to do to get this thing? You will follow Funky G as the new flame champion, Hugo. To fulfill his last request, I will open the door to the true rune. Behind it, a challenge awaits you. By passing this test, you will prove your ability to bear the rune's responsibilities. Okay. Here we go, then. All right. Ready and willing. Okay, so we got to make a party. Let's go ahead and just put Ghetto down here. Um, oh, yeah, he could be at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Going to keep Hugo and Chris together. They're going to work together. Um... Wow, I can't believe Chris does not have full HP. That's stupid. All right, so... Oh, it'll let me save it? Eh, why not? I'm just going to save it in a different slot anyway, so I see nothing wrong with saving it at all, just in case I do happen to lose. And yes, a challenge means you have to fight. Duh. That's why they're letting me choose a party or cho choose my formation. It's going to be awesome, though. We get to use our three fucking heroes in one battle all together. Imagine that. And... Obviously, that's possible to do for the rest of the game, but we'll get to that later. Well, then, let me guide you. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Hold on. If you want to make sure your equipment and stuff's all right, just uh, say hold on a second. Because, remember, I said to equip uh, Jizzo on everyone. Did I do that? I'm going to make sure. Jizzo on Hugo, Jizzo on Chris, Jizzo on Ghetto. Oh, he doesn't have his Jizzo. Why don't you have your Jizzo, sir? Shit, how come he doesn't have a Jizzo? Well, that sucks. That was dumb. How did he end up with no Jizzo? Well, shit, if... Okay, well... Shit. Um, that I don't like. I don't... How did I... Oh, my God. I can't even believe this right now. How in the hell did I end up with no Jizzo on Ghetto? Like, seriously, that's so dumb. Well, this is going to be a bitch because get a well, I mean, I mean, can still do it. It's not impossible, but it's going to be annoying to not have him have a fucking Jizzo. Forgot to equip his damn Jizzo. How lame is that? Whatever, dude. Please show me the way. Let's do this. Well, then, may I show you the way? Yes. Let's do it. I'm not scared. I ain't scared, bitch. This way, please. You know, the best part about this is if you didn't fucking make your character strong enough to win this upcoming battle, you're kind of fucked. This is really is a point in no return if you saved it. <laughs> That's just funny. I should be fine. We'll see what happens, though. You have to win this battle. This battle should be fine. I'm, I'm worried more worried about what happens after we have this battle, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Let's not spoil anything. The true fire rune lies here. Proceed and open the door. Inside lies your challenge. Your challenge awaits you, young Hugo. Your life will depend on it. And so will the power that you seek. Alright, here we go. Time to unlock the seal of the Flame Champion. Fire rune, true fire. Gotta love when these games revolve around true runes. Pretty much every Sukuna game does. Anyway, huh? Ah, uh, snap. Here we go. Bring it. Bring on the flames, baby. Bring it. What do we got? It's something. It's looking kind of flamey. It's something. I guess there was a sound. Oh, Jesus. It's a flame dragon. Awesome. Truly, truly awesome. Look how awesome it looks in 
all of its PS2 graphical glory. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Ah, the test, I see. I will knife him down with my awesome dagger because dragon versus dagger, no contest. Okay, so here it is, the flame uh, rolling car. I don't even, I don't know, man. Anyway, whatever, let's do this. So we're just gonna attack with Hugo and Chris. And of course, we're gonna unload in his face with the almighty hammer of Raijin. I don't think I've shown this on screen, have I? I don't think I have, actually. Anyway, remember I gave Hugo an awesome Fury rune, so he is badass right now. This battle shouldn't cause me any trouble because of Hammer of Raijin. The true lightning rune plus Hugo and Chris should deal plenty of damage. If he, this guy's gonna go down in like a couple turns because of how strong Ghetto's magic is combined with Hugo and Chris's damage. This dragon ain't gonna stand a chance. I'm over leveled for this if we're really gonna talk about this rip shit. Look at that shit. Owned. His own, bitch. Of course he won't die in one turn. Or did he? He isn't doing an attack right now. Okay, I was going to say. I think he's doing an attack, but I can't really tell. Alright, so yeah. This turn. Okay, so to be on the safe side, we're actually going to use the kindness drops to make sure Hugo and Chris are healed. In fact... I recommend you heal them no matter what because, well, after this battle you're going to want to have a decent amount of HP. You don't want to be low on it. Anyways, I believe we're just going to finish the rest of this battle off with some furious blow, baby. Uh, yeah, don't use your third level magic. Save that. We may need it in an upcoming moment. But yes, definitely use kindness drops. Don't waste your kindness rain yet. You may want to use that, but don't do it now. Save it for the right moment. Hopefully he dies on this attack. One can help. Or if Hugo gets his attack in. Die, you dragon fuck. Boom, bitch. Finish him, Hugo. Nice. Did he die? Yeah, I think we did it. Two turns. Gotta love it. That was about as efficient as it was gonna get. Booyah, baby. Booyah. All right, we got a couple level ups there. I like it. Some dragon incense from the flame dragon. I like it. I like it. I like it. Hell yeah. Victorious, bitch. Give me my rune. I did it. Now I've proven myself. Well, you had a little bit of help. But that's okay. I won't tell anyone if you won't. You got this. What you got is this. Put your right hand out and... Receive the room. There is the flame champion. He's gonna wreck. Here we go, baby. And finally, the true rune is now ours. True fire is now yours. Indeed, it is. So now the only person left out of this trio is Chris. Why? What? What? Uh, I don't know what she's gonna do. Should be obvious at this point, but we're not gonna talk about it right now. My job here is done. Let us return now. It is time for the living to continue their lives. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Oh, I guess you're just saying that because we're here in this place with where, where Flame Champion's dead and, and we should go away because it's basically like a tomb. Lady Chris. Ghetto. I hope I'm the right person for this. I have no idea why I was chosen as the new bearer of the True Fire Rune, but something tells me the person with that controller in his hand made the wise choice. He shouldn't bear the rune if he doesn't understand its true purpose or meaning. I knew it! That's why I was ready. I had a feeling it was these guys. Why are you here? This place is sealed to- this is supposed to be sealed! You just unsealed it yourself. When I sought the rune previously, it was impossible to find this location. The flame champion must have been an extremely gunning man. I searched Le Bouquet, the Sapphire Clan, even Alma Kanan. He caused me a lot of trouble, but it doesn't matter now. I've found what I'm after. Give me the rune. Hey, I saw you back on the highway. Oh yeah, I remember you. How could a kid like you ever bear a true rune? Life has strange twists, I guess. Damn. Let's get on with this, shall we? I'm a very busy man. 
I won't give you the rune. Yeah, all right, you can have it. Fuck you, buddy. You ain't having shit. I won't give you the rune. This is a token to show that I took over the spirit of the flame champion, fool. Go ahead and resist. It'll give me a chance to practice my powers of persuasion. Well then. Okay. Time to throw down with loop. Loo, 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 loo. Time to throw down with Masked Man. Oh, man. Or not. Or he's just gonna fucking throw some chimeras at us. So, shall we get started, Flame Champion? Okay, so it's we've kind of fought this battle before, but now he's got three chimeras, and now we only have three party members. Seems a little overwhelming, I know, but we can do this, don't worry. So, I think what we're gonna do is just start with attacking Masked Man, I think. Or no, 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 no. Attack, attack Sarah. Sarah needs to go first. Um, and speaking of what we're going to do, we're going to use Thunderstorm. This is why I told you not to use Thunderstorm, because you're going to need it to take out the Chimeras. These Chimeras are not that hard. Knocking them out with a Thunder Runner is a fantastic idea. It hits all enemies. You already used your Hammer of Raijin to take out the Dragon as efficiently as possible. Try to take out these bitches as efficiently as you can as well. With Ghetto's true lightning magic, this battle is nothing. By the way, Hugo does have his true fire rune. We can use it. His fire magic has not even been... I haven't even learned fire magic, so... Keep that in mind. That's why I'm not using it. Anyway, there goes Sarah. I should have attacked the masked man. Oh, well. No matter. We should be fine. We have Jizzos. Even if Ghetto dies, we We'll be fine. I'll keep telling myself that, hopefully. By the way, you don't have to win this battle. I didn't even say that yet, so don't worry if you do have to lose. You don't have to win this battle. It is not required. I will use kindness drops to be on the safe side, though. Commence your turn, girl. Hopefully, Ghetto, Ghetto. Hopefully, Hugo can finish off somebody here. Preferably, Uber. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to choose who I wanted to attack. I need to really need to get rid of the mask. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. I don't know if we're actually going to survive this. We might actually lose this battle. I don't think, like I said, there's any detriments to losing this battle. I, I don't think. Don't quote me on that. I'm hoping so. Oh, fuck. He just healed? Ah, oh, no. That's not what I to see. Did that heal and attack me? Oh, my God. That's bullshit. Oh, and Hugo's now dead. Great. Well, there goes any chance I may have had to win this then. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, Chris didn't even use hers. Jeez. Well, shit, because I didn't have Ghetto's fucking Jizzo that ruined everything. I should have gave the Jizzo to him instead of Chris. Well, shit. Oh, well. I'm not that mad about this. I think we miss out on some experience, but whatever. Who gives a fuck? I'm sad that we didn't win, though. I feel stupid for not giving Ghetto his goddamn jizzo. You'd better admit defeat and give us the rune. No, please don't! Don't come any closer. You're asking the impossible, boy. Stop right there, motherfucker. What you know about that true fight? Oh, shit. Spear to the champion. What was that? Was it the spirit of the last flame champion? It's just more futile resistance. Please, hold it there. The gate has just been opened. What gate? Oh shit, Duckman's here. What's going on? Somebody tell me. Oh, all my friends are going to be here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All my friends are showing up. What's going on? Hell yeah, all my friends are here, bitch. Game over. You're done now, bitch. You're outnumbered. Boss, what happened? Where am I? You don't want to know. You're in hell, son. You're in hell. Hugo only has stuck, man. That's funny. What's happening? This place is filled with the traces of the last flame champion's aura. It is not advisable to fight here, Sarah. 
Yes, sir. Well then, I guess we're not fighting here. Why? Why can't we do as we choose? Is this the spirit force of the rune? Can't always get what you want, bro. Can't always get what you want. Stop! Stop right there! No! Don't run away, you little bitch. I will leave the rune with you for the time being. But I will be back soon. And I'll be waiting. You motherfucker. Okay then. What a douche cake. Hey, what's going on? Where the hell am I? Oh, Sergeant, we'll tell you all about it later. Or right now. I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> hey, we're in bed. Sweet. Ugh, this is strange. Where am I? You just fainted and woke up in a bed somewhere. Cool. Look, it's Hugo. Hello. You want to know where you are? You've been here before. You're in Chisha Village. Oh, duh. How can this be? I thought... I escaped from the cave where the flame champion was lying and... You fainted, that's all, and you gave us quite a scare. Sada said it could have been because you used your true rune power. You look exhausted. I think I remember something, but it's all fuzzy. Hey, Sergeant, what's happening outside? Quite a bit, actually. There's a broad representation of clans out there. Let's see. There's the Karai clan, the Lizard clan, and the Iron Heads, along with the Harmonian mercenaries. I can't believe they're not fighting by now. Why are they all here? Chief Lucia and Salami, one of the Section Iron Heads, agreed that the conflict was the responsibility of the Harmonian army. Even if it's true, no one will believe it. Especially not the Lizards. Their chief was murdered, you know. They won't be easy to placate. True that. That is true. I won't be appeased easily either. I'll never forget Lulu. Neither will Duckman. But still, I'm the flame champion now. I must hold my end of the bargain. I am here to unite and conquer against the Harmonian bitch cakes. So we shall do just that. For it is my duty as the champion of the fire and the flames and the fury and the awesomeness. Okay, so we're in Chisha Village. And uh, we are now the flame champion. Check it out. I didn't really show off the rune because we have it. But true fire rune is in my possession. Hellfire and brimstone, baby. We'll have to level up Hugo's fire magic. He doesn't even know it yet, so we'll have to teach him it, and then he can start leveling it up. It's not great to have the true fire rune on Hugo, or anybody, really. None of the champions even get a high level of fire magic. That's why it makes no sense why those three characters even have this rune. But I'm not going to complain. It's We're at this point in the game, which I'm very happy about. So our champion is Hugo. He will forever be our character we had control for the rest of this playthrough. Thus, I have chosen it to be so. Okay, I will see you guys next time where we will see what is going on outside of the inn. I'll see you guys then. Peace!